there! This is Marsha with Avon, and I'm going to give you a history lesson about Avon. Not in that voice though, huh? <laughs> just kidding! Okay. Anyway, I just wanted to um, uh, point out that I had a comment on one of my videos from a guy who said the first Avon lady was a man. Well, technically, not really. Um, so, let me explain. In 1886, a man named David H. McConnell did find this company. He founded this company. It was called the California Perfume Company. This is a picture of him when he's a little bit older. There's one on the back of this, too. And um, he, um, there's a picture of him when he's young. I don't know if you can see this. See that? <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? But anyway, I want to let you know why he called it the California Perfume Company. And um, I will also post a picture uh the, the building so david h well this is the california perfume company and 1895 they opened a manufacturing headquarters and stuff for new york two years later the company expands the facility to include a laboratory then in 1896 the company issues its first brochure woohoo connell chose the name california perfume company because of the glowing reports of life in the western state. Mm -hmm. Everybody wants to go to California. Uh, from his former employer at the Union Publishing Company. So anyway, that's cool. Um, just so you know, he um, made perfume. Yeah. And he had a secretary and the first lady who was actually the first um, Avon representative with, was uh, Mrs. P. Alby. And she was 50 years old. She was, um, let me see, there's a thing here. That talks about, here we go, Mrs. Alby, a 50-year-old wife, a mother of two, begins traveling, yeah, by train and horse-drawn wagon, yeah, to sell perfume. And she said it was, um, she said, I know of no line of work so lucrative, pleasant, and satisfactory as this. Cool. So where the heck did it get the name Avon? Well, I don't know if you're familiar with William Shakespeare. Be or not to be, that is the question. Wherefore art thou Romeo? <laughs> but, I don't know if you're will, uh, uh, familiar with a uh, psh, England. Gee, I don't know if I'm familiar with the English language. I can't even talk. But anyway, um, yeah, in 1939, same year as the Wizard of Oz, same year as the war, um, California Perfume Company renames to Avon Products Incorporated. Mm -hmm. The name is a reference to a river that runs through Stratford-on-Avon. Um, I've also heard it uh, Stratford-upon-Avon. It's a town in England. And this is the birthplace of William Shakespeare. McConnell's favorite playwright. How cool is that? Is that something or what? I'm into drama and Avon. Isn't that so cool? Anyway, so yeah, there's so many tidbits. Oh, and you know that ding dong, Avon's calling. That first started in 1954. <laughs> Pretty cool. And it's the longest and most successful campaigns in advertising history. That is so awesome. I know that's old stuff, guys. I know, but I thought you should know because sometimes you know, people ask. And you gotta get the facts straight, right? So. Hi guys, it's Marsha. And I just wanted to um, make sure I told you, because I didn't put it in my video, that uh, David H. McConnell was actually a salesman. And he was selling books. I think they were encyclopedias. And he noticed that the people who were home, mostly, were women back then and so what he did to get their interest uh, was to offer a free gift of perfume um, if they bought the books and he noticed that the ladies were asking him more about the perfume and wanted to buy the perfume rather than the books so then he came up with the idea of California Perfume Company. Pretty cool huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs>